Osama bin Laden's body taken during and after the raid on his compound in Pakistan. But it is allowing select members of Congress to see them. Joining us now, two who saw the pictures just this morning, Maryland Democratic Congressman and ranking member on the Select Committee on Intelligence, Dutch Ruppersberger, and a Republican member of that committee, Florida's Tom Rooney. Uh, Congressman Ruppersberger, to you first. Just take me through the sequence. How many photos and what do they show? Well, we went to the CIA. There, there were probably about six photos total. What we had were photos, facial shots of bin Laden alive and then bin Laden dead. And then there were arrows that showed the facial features that were relevant to make sure that this was the right person. Uh, arrows to the nose, to uh, certain areas of uh, body marks, that type thing. Uh, but clearly, when you look at these photos, my first thought is this, this, without any doubt at all, this was Osama bin Laden. And Congressman Rooney, Ru Congressman Ruppersberger just said photos of Osama bin Laden alive. Are those photos taken during this raid or are they previous photos? No, there are older photos that are just juxtaposed next to uh, uh, bin Laden after he'd been killed. Okay, and, and I'll stick with Congressman Rooney. Do you share your colleague's view that absolutely no doubt this is Osama bin Laden? Absolutely no doubt. And one of the controversies now, one of the questions now is, are they too graphic? Congressman Ruppersberger, to you first. Are they too graphic? You understand the pressure on the administration. There are still some doubters in the Arab world. Even one of bin Laden's son has said, I don't believe you. Should they be released? Well, any time that you see someone who's been killed and shot, it could be considered graphic. What the bottom line is, though, is that we do not want to inflame people who support bin Laden or, or because we don't want to put Americans at risk throughout the world. We have Americans uh, in all countries all over the world, including our military, um, and we're concerned that this could inflame uh, individuals who su support bin Laden. Uh, so uh, I think the president at this time has made the right decision uh, not to release these photos. Uh, Congressman Rudy, do you agree with that? Uh, I, I do. I agree with the ranking member uh, for now. I think that eventually, though, we should uh, consider uh, reconsidering and, and to see if, you know, after there's been a cool down period, if it would be appropriate for the American public to see them. But they are extremely graphic. Well, what do the photos, Congressman Rooney, to you first, what do the photos do? How do they help you if they do understand what happened? As you know, there's been some mixed signals. Early on, the administration said there was a firefight, and then bin Laden himself may have fired shots. Then after they said, no, actually, he was not armed, although we have been told there were some weapons in the room and perhaps there was some motion toward them. Do, do seeing the photos and the narrative you get with them, Congressman Rooney, to you first, did it help you at all understand exactly what happened? It did, I, and, and I know that Dutch was a former prosecutor as well. I mean, you sort of, when you, when you see uh, evidence like this and you kind of try to replay what would have happened or might, what might have happened in the room that night, you can see how, uh, when the shots were fired, what he was probably doing at the time the shots were fired and, uh, and how he got shot in certain angles and, um, and, and how he fell and, and, and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, it's... it's uh, it, it's pretty consistent with the way that they reported it, uh, you know, from the White House. But part and parcel to our job as being on the Intelligence Committee is actually to serve, as Dutch and I were talking about earlier, as a check to the administration to make sure that everything that they're telling you uh, we can see and, and would agree with or question if we don't agree with. So this is really a checks and balances exercise that Dutch and I participated in today. And, and I think that we were both satisfied that, you know, right now might not be the best time to release these photos. But but maybe eventually we could uh, reconsider. Well, Congressman Ruppersberger, uh, keep going on the point your colleague was just making. What was he doing? What do the angles tell you and your prosecutorial experience? What was bin Laden doing when they shot him? What I saw was trauma to the face. So there was, there was a wound that, that clearly killed him uh, right around the eye. Uh, but getting back to what Tom was saying also, I think our role in, in the, on the Intelligence Committee in Congress is the oversight of the Intelligence Committee, uh, the Intelligence Community. Uh, when I first came to Congress, I saw that there wasn't a lot of cooperation, that CIA, NSA, uh, FBI, they weren't cooperating, they weren't working together. Right now, though, I think we're as good as we've been based on our research, technology. They're working as a team with the, with the military. And, and I think the message can clearly be sent out right now to the world. If you're going to kill Americans, if you're, if you're going to attack us, that we're going to find you and bring you to justice. Well, let me, and, let, me, let me jump in on that point. What message would you send to bin Laden's son, Omar, who has said that the United States violated international law by gunning down an unarmed man? I would say that when you come and kill Americans, we're going to find you and we're going to bring you to justice wherever you are. Congressman Rooney, should the administration arrange some sort of a private viewing if bin Laden's son wants to see photographs, if he wants proof? Does the family deserve that? No. I, I would not accommodate that. You know, if he doesn't believe that he was uh, shot and killed, you know, that's too bad. 
And, uh, you know, I, I hate to sound heartless, but this is Osama bin Laden we're talking about. This isn't just some run-of-the-mill guy on the streets of America that deserves constitutional rights. He doesn't. As Dutch said, that he killed over 3,000 of our people. He's been wanted. We've been living in somewhat a fear of the guy over the last 10 years of what's going to happen next. We have the right of self-defense, and we uh, took that away from, uh, took any future engagement away from Osama bin Laden hurting us here in the future. So if his son has a problem with that, you know, my response would be too bad. Uh, let me ask you each, Congressman Rooney, to you first. Just what was your personal reaction when you saw this? This is America's and perhaps the world's most wanted man. Did it give you, forgive me, it's a bit more, but a sense of satisfaction to see him dead? Uh, it, it was sort of like when you're looking at him, kind of how vulnerable and helpless and kind of honestly pathetic he looked laying there. It was like, you know, this is the big bad wolf over the last 10 years, and he almost took on you know, this mythical uh, embodiment because we couldn't ever find him. We thought he was in some mountain region. And we found him in, in Pakistan in Abbottabad. Uh, we went in there, we took him out. We had no casualties, you know, lying there dead, you know, with his head half blown off. You know, you just sort of wonder why it took so long. But, you know, there, there was satisfaction in the sense that we don't have to worry about the next videotape or, you know, what he might have planned because he was still very, very much engaged as the intelligence is, is uh, showing. How about you, Congressman Ruppersberger? Uh, well, first, my elation came when uh, the director of Shea, Leon Panetta, called me. And I remember, uh, Chairman Rogers and I were briefed uh, starting sometime in last February about this mission. But you know, I've been on the Intelligence Committee now for over eight years, and we had a lot of leads like this before. But as it developed and it went, went forward, and when Leon Panetta called me, I had elation. Uh, I, I felt like this is so tremendous that we've this far. And when you saw those photos? When I saw the photos, I looked at it more as my role as a professional, that you know, everyone has a role in this mission, and our role is oversight. So my role as not a part of the administration, but a part of Congress, representing my constituents, was to make sure that we confirmed and did our oversight. Uh, again, it may be because I was a, a, a former prosecutor and have been involved in homicide cases and seen pictures like this, but, but I had felt the job is done. Clearly, from my point of view, this is Osama bin Laden. Let's move past the photographs. You mentioned your oversight role. You are getting briefings on some of the materials, this treasure trove that was seized from the bin Laden compound. We hear about his handwritten personal journal. We hear about the thumb drives with instructions and advice to people out in the field. Uh, Congressman Ruppersberger, to you first as the ranking member. What is the most important, significant thing you have learned that you now know that whether it's the CIA, the FBI, or some other government agency is scrambling in a race against time to stop? Well, it's accumulation of things. The first issue is that we want to get as much information as we can to go after other leadership in al-Qaeda and, and we want to do that right away so that has to be the first priority the second priority is to find out uh, who the leadership is uh, was our intelligence correct are there people that we didn't know that were involved that's the second phase uh, the third phase is we have to make sure that we keep moving ahead we know like in Yemen now, I just come came back from Yemen a couple weeks ago and we know there's an individual American born uh, he knows our culture. His name is Alaki. He's very dangerous. His focus is to attack the United States. He's recruiting homegrown terrorists. We call Lone Wolf. And we have to make sure that we are diligent in continuing our battle and what we have done. But I can say this. We are the best in the world at what we do right now. We came together. It took us 10 years. And the Americans can feel very good about our ability to protect our country and, and to go after al-Qaeda and other terrorists who want to attack or kill Americans. Congressman Tom Rooney, Republican of Florida, Dutch Ruppersberger, Democrat okay. of Maryland from the Intelligence Committee. Gentlemen, thanks for your time. Sure. Thanks, John. Okay.